uh, hi everybody my name is Deepak uh, today we will discuss about VLAN trunk setting ignored after a reboot or uh, port VLAN configuration change by itself trying to configure uh, for uh, for voice VLAN uh, many of the questions I've seen on uh, Cisco spot community or many of the other websites so today I decided to make a video for that but uh, especially that uh, issues we seen on the Cisco small business switches uh, they call the SAP 300 200 switches or 500 switches uh, many of the time we will face, face uh, this issue uh, what is the root cause for that and uh, how we will troubleshoot that uh, today we will learn about that first of now that uh, why this issue will be occur and uh, what will happen when you will be reboot your uh, switch or uh, uh, unplug your port and plug again uh, otherwise you would just type the shutdown command and type again what will happen is that be and back in the background so that the VLAN setting is going to change is that uh, in the Cisco small business switches, there is the feature of the smart port. Uh, basically, the smart port uh, feature is uh, included in switches because uh, uh, in the small business or uh, in small company organization, um, the many time they don't have any dedicated uh, IT persons uh, and uh, they. Uh, if they have the any uh, desktop support engineer or something, they uh, he don't have the any much experience on the Cisco switches, so maybe they will face the issue uh, when we connect uh, any um, phone or uh, any desktop or any server on a switch on a uh, switch port. So uh, IPv configuration. DHCP configuration, uh, VLAN configuration specially is there is the issue. So there is no. You can see this is the smart port switch is there. When you will turn off any uh, any port or unplug that port, then why that VLAN trunk setting has go, uh, will will be changed is that because you can see there is the some configuration which I configured in uh, my switch. You can see there is a predefined VLAN in there that in the smart port uh, port uh, type setting is you can see predefined some uh, smart port type is there and uh, micro is configured for that so you can see first I configure smart port for the printer there is a pre predefined I didn't configure but it's a predefined uh, you can see this is printer type is the built-in it's a note by built by the user so you can build it itself also and you can see the value is one the value means if you can connect the any printer on that uh, switch any port of that the uh, setting will be automatically go change and uh, the native port on the trunk port will be assigned automatically as a uh, VLAN one when you conf connect any desktop then it will be gone automatically to VLAN 10 now you can see here this is the IP phone for my VLAN is parameter 10 and the native VLAN is 1 as you can see and that uh, IP phone and desktop is there VLAN 10, VLAN 1 if we, we will go to uh, connect the router that is VLAN 100 but basically you can see this is my uh, both are tagged here okay here tagged is there and uh, this is the VLAN 10 maximum okay Native will so native will and this is the maximum host is there then uh, how many mm, maximum host you can connect on that particular port and this is mm, the voice will is there this is a predefined that when you get the IP okay there's the two option first of that if you uh, decide that uh, you you will create a multiple VLANs on the switch you use ports uh, for that uh, VLAN 10 for your engineering branch VLAN 11 for your HR branch and VLAN 12 for your uh, for your IT department you can see there are the three data VLAN is there so uh, here you can see for the servers and host my R of the VLAN and uh, VLAN 1 is uh, native VLAN 
so when we you will shut down the port or you will disconnect the port or connect again then the setting will be automatically goes change to and uh, native will be assigned to vlan 1 you can see and uh, many of the time we need uh, the native vlan as uh, mm, as, as per this hi uh, sorry for that and now you can see the vlan 10 for engineering 11 for hr and 12 for it if the many of the time uh, when we assign the multiple uh, VLAN on the switches and divided uh, by the department or uh, by the any other method as you decided. Uh, so what will happen now if you connect the any desktop or IP phone on that is automatically a native VLAN will go change on your trunk port and assign to VLAN 1. This is due to the smart port setting. Okay. There are the two methods is there you will be first you will be configure you, you can change your uh, setting here and you can change your parameter for the maximum host how many that for the native vlan for the mm, uh, for ip phone and desktop which you want to decide it there the voice vlan we can't be changed because the voice vlan setting is uh, an, an another side in the switch i will be telling you about that here you can decide your native vlan for that if you the ip phone and desktop both are connected going to connect it the native vlan should be in there this is the method this the standard method you can uh, configure here uh, and save that after the your setting will be uh, go to change is that but uh, there are some other method is there uh, I will tell you something that is the VLAN management if you go on the trunk one minute so my actually the VPN is slow I am connected with the VPN this is the default native VLAN setting is there uh, you can see there okay you can change is that but this is not a solution if you change that it will change for the all of the mm, switches if you invest in the staking or is there th it will be changed go to change here you will be define the port b which is the uh, vlan one you will decide it will be when you can see this the untagged most of the uh, on the port there the vlan one is untagged okay and uh, mm, the therefore same is there vlan one and vlan hundred uh, i have the three vlan one for uh, my data and uh, nine uh, for routing purpose and hundred for the voice that I configured on that switch and uh, here is the port VLAN membership is there you can see that we configured the uh, UP means uh, and that untagged port and uh, T means the tagged port you can mm, see here operational VLAN is there everything is here con uh, con configured is there okay just to go and change the setting this is the trunk configuration of the se uh, setting is there okay when you go on the change you can see that you you are going to change is that for for mm, for the particular will you know that and here is the port villain that uh, i already showed to you that how we will configure is there okay and this is the interface setting is there this is the trunk is there you can see that CVDI is all already configured okay you, mm, first you try with the co configure the PVDI you mean since you configure the PVDI and uh, you just PVDI instead of PDI is that uh, configure the native port instead of but uh, many time it will go change okay uh, so uh, what we do we need to do go on the smart port go on the interface is there okay you will if you need to change that you can change the smart port type you can see if i click on the port first i click on the port uh, i'll show you one example is there here is i connected my routing port okay in the routing port if i go to uh, select is there automatically change to the native vlan one uh, because of its uh, calculated as a switch as the uh, far end side uh, but my routing is configured on that so i disable the uh, smart port here okay on the smart ports interface type and uh, change your s uh, smart port as detected here you can see that uh, ip phone and desktop is uh, connected here okay so for the ip phone is my vlan 100 and desktop for vlan ones uh, sometime we will change that setting and uh, you suppose that uh, i need to configure uh, at the one place is uh, for the desktop is 11 but uh, what will happen and uh, my, my sw uh, smart uh, smart port switch configuration for the desktop is VLAN 1 but uh, I want to configure the VLAN 11 then what will happen if you uh, uh, shut down the swi uh, your switch or shut down the port uh, that uh, setting will be go change automatically 
so they have the two options first of that you will be it change uh, new create uh, the micron for the smart port type sorry micro for the smart uh, smart port type or uh, second is that you will be uh, go on uh, uh, smart port and uh, interface setting and uh, change the setting or disable the smart port after you you can configure is that uh, you, you can uh, as you can see here, I configured is there. Uh, sorry, I disabled that smart uh, smart port for this particular interface because I I faced a many uh, many time of the issue is that uh, uh, VLAN setting is uh, going to change automatically. So I disabled is that after that is working fine. I hope this uh, future uh, uh, sorry this solution also will work for you. That I will write you that. Uh, uh, what we do what is the step is there I told you that I will explain you again first is that con uh, configure your trunk port configure trunk port second is there assign PVDI okay third is that if you face the issue then you will disable the smart port setting smart port setting for particular uh, interface there's the three step is there but uh, many of the time the user uh, one of the my client was called me that I f he faced a lot of the issue for letting that a uh, smart port uh, uh, sorry and that uh, it's uh, going to change uh, the setting is going to change after that I told him that to just go in the smart port properties and just disable the auto ad administrator um, ad uh, administrative auto smart port just go to the disable is there and uh, <coughs> apply the setting after that uh, um, all settings is working fine and uh, I hope uh, this uh, solution will be work for you also thank you so much uh, for giving your time and if you like the video please click on the thumb button or uh, uh, subscribe to my channel uh, thank you so much uh, and uh, i hope uh, it will be a uh, nice day for you